Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, we're going to talk about chocolate molds and food molds in general. It's something that I have personally used in a professional atmosphere when I worked in restaurants. We did a lot of things with some of these materials as well. Food molds and chocolate molds can be collected by many people. It has cross-category interests. You've got, you know, the, the candy makers, the food actual makers, and then you've got people that just collect those as well. There's people who collect design work that will collect them. People will buy them just for things to set on the walls, for decorations. So there's three or four good categories that these items can go into. Some of them can sell for a horrendous amount of money, several thousand dollars. The most average ones still will give you 15, 20 bucks profit on almost any given one of these type of items that we personally find. But we're going to go over the screen and we're going to show you some right now. Okay, so today we're just going to talk about food molds in general. Now, I know a lot of people don't think there's a lot of value in these per se, other than the old ones, but a lot of these will sell. And I'm going to show you some newer ones, some oddball ones. For the most part, there are these tin molds or brass or whatever metal they, they tend to be made out of, but mostly tin from what I see, or some are copper lined in tin, depending on what type of mold it is. This could have been used for chocolate or pretty much anything that you wanted to pour in here. This is probably the highest price one I have personally seen sell. I'm not saying they don't sell for higher than this, but this is usually about the max that I see any of these selling for um, in my personal uh, experience. $1,695. It's an elephant. It's a large one. Um, I wouldn't worry, too, if they are missing clips. Like if you see this one here, this one is missing some of the clips. It just has one at the top. Those you can actually buy in lots as well, sometimes on eBay, for those of you who want to put a complete set together. But I just sell them as I find them. Usually two-part, but there are three-part and even four-part molds. There's gang molds and things as well. I'm going to touch on just a few different types here. There's not a lot to it. You know, you, you've got to be able to find them and know what to look for. Most any of these molds are sellable, especially these large size ones. And you can see the clip that holds together here to the left there. It's just a piece that slides on and holds the metal together. And then you would pour it in from the bottom. Now, some of these had like a framework that they would go into. And there's some that are like gang gang cast all at the same time that you might have a big frame and you can do like eight or ten rabbits at the same time as well, too. But this one went for 595 Santa Claus's holidays, pumpkins, jack o lanterns seem to sell the best. This one just looks like it has one clip. Most every one usually had three, one on the top and two on either sides to clip to hold these together. I wouldn't consider that a, a drawing factor, not having all the clips again. This one went for 44 with 15 bids. Here's another one. This is the 1964 World's Fair. Now, I'm not really sure. It says that they're molds, but the... Well, here we go. This one's in reverse. Maybe they, they did them in reverse so you could see the image, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess that is the case. These are just to make chocolate bars. Now, these were actually, in my opinion, for Lofts, the ice cream company. This would have been just sold at the World's Fair. And you'll see them for things like this, too, for events and things. Disney has them occasionally as well. $400. Actually, a little less than I thought something like that would go for. It doesn't actually even have to be the molds. Just the catalogs, printed material, and things like that on the mold sell as well. Now, this would sell for, like, advertisement purposes or for, you know, historical information so you can date and tell who made what. Some of these do not have markings on them, so you would have to go buy something along this line. And you can see the, the unique designs. There's a penguin, a fish, Santa, different sizes of candy bars as well. This catalog went for $400. So, you know, it, it's, it crosses the border on various collectibles. These can be sold to, to kitchen collectors, kitchen collectible collectors, that is, um, Santa Claus Christmas collectors, candy makers, restaurants and retail supply companies will buy them, and just advertising in general. Even if they're from, like, Germany, some of the companies that made these are collected by, you know, certain collectors as well. So they have cross-category interest, as most items would. This one's a rather unique one. This is a three-part mold. You can kind of get the gist. Yeah, it blows up there. You can kind of get the gist on how thick and well-designed some of these are. They're made to hold up. This one has the clip up there. This one probably needs a couple clips just because of the way it seals. It may all be there. It may not. It may be missing one or two clips, but 395 and 22 bits. Now, here's a gang mold like I was talking about. There's some that can hold twice this 
or even more. It just depends on the mold itself. Rather unique. These, when they're gang mold like this, they usually have all the clips built in, so they just flip off the like hinges and things along that line. Rather interesting. Uh, there you can see it taken apart, and the clips do appear on this one. Yeah, they're they're built into it, so they won't get lost or fall apart. This is more probably a restaurant grade. I would expect you would find something along this line. Three hundred and fifty-eight dollars and twenty-eight bids. It's not a huge category, but there's thousands of them for sale that do sell. Crumpus always sells. This is a poor one for drop, just for candies, like in a candy store. Candy shops these days actually buy these for nostalgia, and they'll use them to produce vintage-looking candy. Uh, they have two or three shops around here that actually do this. Four hundred and fifty. Santa Claus driving a car. You can't go wrong with anything like this. Even smaller size ones do sell. $305. Anton Reich. Now, this is a German manufacturer, so a lot of the better ones do seem to come from Germany as well, too. 1910, maybe a little earlier. 305 with 20 bids. Now, here's another ganged one. This one can pour multiple ones at the same time. These are usually well sought after. Uh, just because mostly shops and things will use these or people making gifts and stuff that want to pour their own candy. I would say these would all still be usable as long as they're cleanable um, and well lined still. Some people actually get these relined. You can actually have them recoded, believe it or not. Uh, in the restaurant industry, like at um, restaurants such as Cracker Barrel, the trays that they cook their biscuits on, they send off and have them recoded. Every store has a set time frame you're supposed to put them in twice a year usually every six months and they'll recoat these things so they can still be used for years three hundred dollars buy it now free shipping fish birds and animals are horrendously good sellers the birds are really realistic ones usually sometimes they're dead birds uh the designs are literally that way it's just some fad that was around back then so i don't uh, worry about what the object is because almost anyone sells the weirder the animal or the the unique the actual mold the better they will sell for and this one has probably all its clips it's possible it's missing one um, but i doubt it uh, usually some of these smaller ones didn't need many clips on it but as i said 295 bin Here's St. Nicholas, Santa Claus. This is an early designed one. I'm not saying this is an early one, but it's an early designed one. Kind of an oddball subject with the wash tub in my book. I would say, well, Holland, yeah, I would say European right off the bat just by looking at it. The most common one you see is this sheep or lamb. Those aren't worth much, but they do show up quite often. This one's $262 for the St. Nicholas with 11 bids. Small size still sells, $255. This is a small one. You can see the gentleman's hand or the lady's hand, probably gentleman's. Um, but it's rather unique. It was made to sit upside down. So he's holding up the base, so it's actually upside down. He'd pour it up in the top, and it would stand up, so he looks like he's doing an acrobatic move upside down. 255 with 40 bids. Now, Griswold made a bunch of them. Cast iron sheep, as I said. This is the most common Griswold you will find. But bunt pans, cake molds, all of that stuff can sell and has potentially uh, good value on your return. There's new versions of this one and old ones. The old ones are worth more. Uh, to tell if it's a real actually cooking piece and not some knockoff, look for those three holes in it. Those are venting holes to let the heat out. Uh, anyway, 70 bucks for that one. Here's a nice set. These are candy ones now. These are Christmas candy ones. Gummies, they could be for chocolate as well, too. There's plastic modern recreations of these also, so just keep that in mind. $99. These aren't anything fancy or anything like that, but they're still very unique. They're newer as well, too. Now, this is for drop candy. If anybody knows what Lofty Pursuits is, this is a site here on YouTube that just creates vintage candy. I think they're in... Um, Shoot, Tallahassee, Florida, if I'm not mistaken. We've been through the area once before. Well, many times. But we've actually stopped, and they um, weren't making any of the day we were there. And I'm, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, it's Tallahassee. They've been around for years. Um, but we've been going by that place for years, knew about it for a long time, and actually got a chance to go in there. But this is the machine. You're going to find this type of machine. It's literally for rolling drop candy. The machines themselves can sell for 1000 or better. This one went for 760 Thomas Mills is one of the more popular names. They actually made the cooling tables. Watch Lofty Pursuits if you want to see these in action. They do some incredible videos on cooking candy and making candy. 
These are the rollers now. These actually sell for more than the machines. Depending on the design, there's a ton of vintage candy ones of these available. The middle part that actually made the mold needs both rollers. You need two rollers to have the complete mold. They can be cleaned up because they're brass and sterilized. The iron steel parts can be cleaned and, you know, taken care of as well with food grade oil just in case. But these are very popular in the vintage food creation companies and stuff. There's many in almost every city these days. A thousand bucks basically for these. This is something that a lot of people wouldn't even know what they were and pass by at an auction. You might be able to get for 20 bucks, believe it or not. Now, modern ones sell too as well. Silic Comart, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's a foreign company. Some of theirs go for hundreds of dollars because they're quality, they're made to last. Uh, like uh, cake makers and stuff will buy these, professional ones even. This is $313, and they sold three of them at that price, plus $31 shipping on top of it from Italy. Here's another one by the same company, Silico Mart. Uh, the, the company name's what I look for, and they're usually marked on the actual item itself, too. They're usually, you know, very realistic, well done, or cute, like in this example here. $188. Now, there isn't a specific category or item that I look for. I look for any of this stuff. Kitchenware, in general, I'll be covering in another video because we sell it all the time whenever we pop it in here. These sell, too. There's a lot of reproductions or new models that are just junk. The better ones are copper, and then they're tin-lined on the inside. That is tin that's been coated. You can tell when you pick one of these up by the weight. The original ones are heavy as can be. They're very thick-walled. The new ones are very light. Just They're cheap. They look like if you could step on it, it would break. Now, these you could probably stand up on, and nothing would happen for the most part. This one's 145. It's like a pudding mold, bunt cake kind of style of thing and stuff as well, too. Turtle, same basic thing. Copper, I'm sure this is tin line in the inside as well. That's what, yeah, tin line. Most all of these are, even the new reproductions. This is a newer one, but these still sell because it's a turtle. So that's the key on this one. A couple more, $100 for these. Now, this is a name brand, Benham and Fraud. Now, I'm not sure if that's fraud is pronounced correctly, but Benham is the name that I know I've heard. I've only seen Benham marked on a couple of them just on its own as well, but they do show up. Some of these can be repaired, believe it or not, to still be used. A little ding here, a little ding there doesn't affect most people. These are all sold prices, so they do sell, and they do sell for some decent money. This brand name can go up into the hundreds of dollars sometimes if you find the right one also. Another awesome rabbit one, tall. It's got a framework to hold it up because it is so tall, and it just helps sturdy the item, um, and it locks into place, too. And it's got the little latches, so you can see it pretty much encases it when it's closed, so it, it pretty much reinforces the whole piece. Because if this was solid, there'd be a lot of chocolate. Usually in something like this, they'll keep pouring some in there. The mold may be cold, and they'll keep pouring chocolate in and pouring it out, and eventually it'll create a hollow... Um, husk of the rabbit is what they usually do. They usually don't do them solid chocolate, but anyway, 750 bucks. The size on this is a huge one, actually. It's 21 inches tall, as it says. And the last item, just another Griswold. Now, you saw they have sheep. They've got Santa Claus. The Santa Claus is the more popular one. There's a vintage one, and if I'm not mistaken, a reproduction, a newer one by the same company, by Griswold as well. But this one sells fairly regularly in the almost $300 range. Just depends on how nice it looks, if it's vintage or new or whatever the case may be. But that's about it on molds. Plastic ones sell. I find candle molds, too, that people use for food. I find characters like Ninja Turtles or Bugs bunny now i don't mess with too many of the actual like wilton cake pans but some of those are worth some money if i get them in a big huge lot for a quarter 50 cents i'll buy them but other than that you're lucky to get 10 20 bucks out of a just an open one without like uh, the face plate designs or any of the other particles that came with them well that's what i have for you today hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified when i post new content or go live subscribe and tell a friend